DBS Plays. Alright, hey folks, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank, uh, welcome back to DBS Plays, Ratchet and Clank 3. And, uh, today we are continuing, this is a different day, this is a couple of days later, Dear Diary. Um, <laughs> hey, stuff, kid. Now get to Max Million's office before he can make his escape. Yeah, I, I don't need to break all this stuff, I don't need those, all those extra bolts right now. Okay, Clank is hot on his tail. Max Million tries to shake him off in rush hour traffic. All right, I love a good chase scene. <laughs> All right, you're doing great, kid. Now, avoid the lasers and meet up with the monkey in the casino parking lot. So anyway, um, this is a different day. Uh, than when I was recording on, um, yeah, the other day. Ow. In this scene, Agent Clank and the monkey must put aside their differences and work together to reach that ledge. Let's see some real emotion out there, okay? That ledge. I forgot the name of the, um, I don't remember the name of like the celebrity that he's supposed to sound like, but I saw he's supposed to sound like some, you know, one of those celebrities like uh, the hear G generic Hollywood type of, you know, voice. At least from back in the day. Think fast. How would Agent Clank get across? How would Agent Clank get across? You know. Tell them to wait. And now you can come. Now you can come to me. Let's see here. Enter. Just like this is the actual movie. Like you see it, you see a lot of stuff that's like it's kind of a weird movie, you know? Fantastic! <laughs> Keep it up, Clay! It'd be kind of, you know, what would be interesting. It would definitely be extremely niche, but I wonder if I, it seems like something that probably wouldn't work, and you know, there's like a huge chance it wouldn't work. I wonder what would like a let's play movie type of thing would happen, like like a something involving a let's play type thing, like a movie's going on. I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the only one to think of something like that, but. Okay, this is it, people. The grand finale. Giant Clank versus the Terror of Talos. Don't screw this up, kid. Action! But I'm just wondering how something like that, because, you know, we've had stuff like the first person movies, and I, I guess you can kind of contribute those to being kind of like those uh, uh, 4D ride types of things, in a way. Um, but like first person movies and you have, you have movies that, that you have to watch them through, uh, watching, um, you have to like, you know, basically like a, like you hold your phone, you know, the way you normally would. Um. Alright, you the giant ninja! Okay. But I just wonder how that would work out, you know, like a, a let's play movie thing. Like they're playing through a game, but then like, I don't know. It probably would be another generic, like uh, if you die in the if you die in the game, you die in real life types of things. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but um, but I'm just wondering like what that would be like if they could get away with like having it just be the. Um, like from the perspective of like the streamer or like the let's player, you know, you, you might see some of the movie stuff happening as they're playing the game. This could sa this sounds like a pretty darn bad idea. I just wonder if someone could like execute it very well, you know, pretty well, like in a way where we're like, oh, it does work, you know, that kind of thing. Again, though, I know it'd still be pretty niche anyway, no matter if it would work or not. But I just I just think it'd be kind of interesting to. to of an idea 
Just, you know, again, I know that it probably wouldn't work out. There's a high chance it wouldn't work out. But, uh, of course, I'm, I'm not doing the Let's Play of, uh, where you see me. I'm doing the Let's Play where you don't see me <laughs> and you just see the game. I do wonder if there's like a actual, like, you know, I know we consider it Let's Play, but I wonder if there's ever going to be like a term that like is an official term for a Let's Play. Because right now we just call them Let's Plays, Playthroughs, whatever. Um, you know. I don't know how I'm dying right now. I'm usually not dying and stuff like this. Well, maybe it's because the freaking ninjas keep coming at me. I bet you, I, I didn't think about this before, but I bet you this game has that kind of... One more time, people, like we rehearsed it, and action! Like, I wonder if it's one of those types of things where it's like, Oh, well, it gets harder That's as you play it. About. Um... And then it gets easier as you lose. See, I know there's people that say, well, I don't want them to hold my hand just because I died. Well, I also see it the other way around. I don't want it to be harder just because I'm doing well. <laughs> All right, you, the giant ninjas. I feel like there was a skill point of some kind where you could, uh, either by, uh, um, there were skill points of some kind where you either, um, shoot, uh, there were skill points where you, uh, either by destroying all the buildings or destroying every enemy with just your hands, just your, uh, fists, I don't remember for sure. But, um, I don't have a skill point of some kind around here. Whoa. I gotta say, this is a pretty big set if Giant Clank is a thing right now. Also, how did Giant Clank become Giant Clank without the Giant Clank activator to make Giant Clank? Have I said Giant Clank yet? Okay. All right, where where in the world is uh, Carmen San Diego? No, uh, where where's the monster thing? I need to focus on that. You'd think these things would give you at least a little bit of health, recover a little bit of health, but nope. Not this time, not in this game. <coughs> Gosh. Yeah, buddy, this is a T-rated game. You could have gotten away with saying the word. I mean, it was originally a T-rated game, but even in a, in a uh, even in an E-10 rated game, they could have they could have gotten away with it. They had just said it like that one time, you know. There we go. Put it in the can and it's a wrap. Take five, people. All in a day's work. Cut! Print it! That's a wrap, people! Pure box office raritanium clank. Even the critics are gonna love it. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? What is it? 
I have a present for you, Snooky Wickums. Ah, I told you to stop calling me that! Just bring me Agent Clank! Of course, darling. <laughs> Where am I? Is someone there? I see him to- Agent Clank, it is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I have been following your exploits ever since your first mission, when you defeated the mind-stealing snot beasts from Dimension X. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. Secret Agent Clang is merely a fictional character I play on the horror video. Lies! Squishy lies! Oh, Lance, I can't. It's not right. You're my cousin's uncle's son. Lies! You are a hero to robots across the galaxy, and yet... You deny your own destiny! You choose to bow and scrape before the squishies! Where is your pride in who you are, Agent Clank? Organic life forms have as much right to inhabit this galaxy as we do. I see no reason to exclude then them. I will give you a reason. Join me, and together we will rule an entire galaxy of robots. Or a refuse. Remain a traitor to your own kind. And Follow your beloved squishies into the black hole of oblivion! Meanwhile, Clink, Clink's trailer. Clink should have been back by now. What could be taking him so long? <laughs> <sighs> Let's see here. Yeah, the game... There's a point where the game just kind of spikes up in difficulty, like really spikes up. Not quite... Not quite, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, size matters bad or anything, but... Just kind of... Just kind of... Bites up pretty hard difficulty. Let's see here. All right. If you hear something in the background? That's Spartacus just making his noises. His, his doggo noises. This will be a time capsule for when people stop saying doggo, or potentially stop saying doggo. And, uh, just, just, if, if this is very old, uh, you'll find plenty of stuff on the internet from around this time, and way before then, too, of people saying doggo. Hey, that's what Let's Place can be, is just a time capsule. That's what you, that's typically what you call things that, uh, you don't want to say poorly aged. Instead, you say time capsule. If it's something you like, you can you consider it that. If it's something you don't like, you say it's aged or poorly aged. <laughs> I mean, this is assuming this stuff doesn't just get erased off the internet. Or as the kids currently say, again, for the past so many years now, yeet, if they yeet it out of the internet. I mean, in all honesty, I'm not going to be one of those that say, oh, I don't say it, and, you know, because it's popular, or I don't... I, do, I also don't not say stuff just to, you know... I mean, if something just sounds cringy to me, I won't say it. If it's whatever to me, then I, I'll say it. Oh, yeah, this is, like, one of the only parts of the game where you don't use... or you don't have plank on your back. I could have done that, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> see. Let's 
<sighs> oh yeah, this is a game that introduces Clunk. Which I'm pretty sure most people are not going to even rem remember who Clunk is other than in this game. Because he, while he was in, uh, I mean this game is 20 years old this year, you know, or will be. Um, but, uh, since he's in Secret Agent Clank, um, I mean, Clunk is, uh, um, he's like a clone of, or, well, I guess a copy of, uh, Clank. Yep. I sure love the blue shields that block the stuff whenever it's really close that, like, can start over the, at least one level of the, or the, yeah, stage of hacking. Just kind of concentrating. Concentrate! Alright. Okay, I was expecting an enemy there. But I guess we don't have an enemy then. Alright. There's where the enemies are. The big, the big, uh, Tyranoids. What's kind of interesting is that, like, while a lot of the... Uh, while most of the, uh, uh, um, dialogue that you don't hear now after beating it the first time, um, is mostly just, like, telling you about certain things or how to control certain things, um, some of it actually has to do with the story, and not, like, in a way that you just absolutely have to hear it to understand, but it still kind of adds to the story, it's just kind of weird how that's just like in the same boat as the tutorial of things that you don't need. Let's, uh, yeah. Clank, where have you been? I thought something happened to you. I was having my sprockets lewd. You picked a fine time for a tune-up. Where's Courtney Gears? Miss Gears has left the planet. What? Well, what about Nefarious? Did she tell you where he is? Dr. Nefarious is aboard a star cruiser called the Leviathan. Um, okay. Nice job, Clank. So, I'll just call Sasha and have her track down that star cruiser. Now, see, you could, it was hard to tell at first if that was Clank being hypnotized because he's a robot or, like, reprogrammed or whatever. Or if it was, uh, you know, a different robot. See, for a while, I was like, I, I wasn't sure. I would think that, like, they just reprogrammed him or something, but... So, by the way, going that way gets you, like, a bolt or something. Yo, dudes! Hey, Skid. How's the stakeout going? Awesome! A few minutes ago, this totally tricked-out space limo rolls up, and, dude, you won't believe who was in it! Courtney Gears! Uh-oh. Were you spotted? No way, man! I've been staying out of sight, keeping a low profile. I'm like a shadow, dude. And you're sure it was her? Totally! She even autographed my t-shirt! Oh. You know how much this thing is worth? Skid, get out of there! Hold on a sec, bro. Somebody's coming. Hey, if you dudes are here about the shirt, the bidding starts at 300 bolts. Whoa, chill out, man. Hey! Skid's in trouble. We better get back to the Obani Moons. But we're not... Well, I mean, we are going back to the Obani Moons, but we're going to a different part of it. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, there was originally like a bolt or something there. Um, let's see. Obani Draco. Um, oh yeah, it's because I was saving it. I hate that stuff. Uh, I'm going to switch to Ducky for now. Let me see here. Yeah, I should also clarify that, like, that's one of the only times you don't have Clank or Clunk on your, uh, on your back. 
but like you know, obviously we didn't have Plank on our backs earlier. Or earlier, whenever we were disguised as Tyranoid, but you know, like this is this was the first Ratchet and Clank game to start out with Plank on your back, rather than like starting out without Plank on your back. <laughs> and then uh, Ratchet Deadlocked Ratchet Deadlocked and Quest for Booty are the only games where you do not have Plank on your back when you use Ratchet okay I was wrong uh, same goes for Secret Agent Plank for the Ratchet moments you don't have Plank on your back and, yeah. I guess I was just thinking about uh, games where you don't use Plank at all, or you don't have Plank, you know. Uh. Oh cool, just don't even have some death animation. <laughs> Of over 10 million bolts, which in this game is big, but not like that. But it's kind of the equivalent of getting like uh, a million a million bolts in um, uh, Ratchet 2. You know, Ratchet going commando. Um, kind of, or like maybe like five million in that game, or the equivalent of getting like a Shoot a million at well, way more than a million. I don't know. This is the testing laboratory for the bio obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Whoa, like I never knew you were this kinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up. Okay, I'll zip it. Man, the guys aren't gonna believe this. Like destroy all squishies, dude. They turned Skid into a robot? That's impossible! Not for Dr. Nefarious. Don't be afraid, Ratchet. The transformation doesn't hurt. <laughs> but... Besides, I think you'll enjoy being a robot. Let's see if you can fight better than you can sing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's ratchet in the background with like the, you know, Let's sit here. But she sure ain't talking right now. I think this isn't any better. Because I noticed that, like, it was taking away health, but, like, not very much. Does Britney Spears know all these moves? Ow. Oh, get it. One disposable pop star disposed. <laughs> uh, you okay, Clank? Transmission from the Phoenix. We've located Nefarious' star cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldrin starport. Quark is already on his way there. It might be a trap. I think Courtney Gears was setting us up. Even so, it could be our only chance to stop Nefarious. We'll meet Quark at the starport. Be careful, Ratchet. Come on, Clank. We'll come back for Skid later. Destroy all 
Well, the duck was waiting for us the whole time. Also, Ratchet took a long time to load in there. <laughs> I think this planet is where you get the box breaker. Yeah, it's where you get the box breaker, which I already have, but... I may do it just to just to have a little more game in here, a little more to show. Welcome to the Zeldrin Starport. Due to increased security. This is a this is a good place to get bolts and level up your weapons. Not that I need to, but like, just kind of showing that if you need to get extra bolts and level up your weapons more, this is a good place to go. It's a little hard on your first playthrough when you don't have everything leveled up and you don't maybe you don't have the ultimate armor or whatever. But otherwise, you know, pretty good. Oh, I didn't realize I had a I had a extra thing. Let me see here. Wait, let's see. <laughs> you like stop those things. Passengers are limited to two carry-on weapons. Um, let's see, so yeah, um, yeah is opposed to, as to, as opposed to no, so. Can you tell I can't really think much of what to say right now? Don't we all just enjoy watching the game? Don't mind me babbling. This scene is so funny. At the beginning of it. I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. It was mating season. How could I have known she was your sister? Uh, uh, how long have you two been standing there? Too long. <laughs> well, <clears throat> stop lollygagging and let's get to work. We'll use this shuttle to infiltrate the Star Cruiser undetected. Once on board, we find Nefarious and finish the job. Are you fellas ready? Shotgun. Ah. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Move over, I'll drive. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather make it there in one piece. Stand down, soldier. This is your captain speaking. Captain, my... No. Wait, no, don't sit on the flight stick. <laughs> it's too quiet. I don't like it. Once again, my brilliant plan has cut the enemy completely unawares. <laughs> Message received. What's that, Clank? Nothing. We'll have to split up and search the ship. Just remember, Nefarious is mine. Unless we get to him first. Come on, Clank. Let's get some payback for Skid. Uh. This feels so satisfying to just go through the game just like that. Now, there is somewhat of a, uh, I guess you could say, like, you get a certain feeling, like, whenever, you know, it doesn't feel quite the same whenever you just go through the game after getting everything, and you play through, you know, you play through it again. You kind of feel like, oh man, I want to play through this, like, with my weapon not upgraded and, you know. But like every almost every single traditional ratchet and clank game is so fun. I 
and like satisfying to upgrade your weapons and all that stuff. I don't think it ever says what he was looking for exactly, except like, like, because we know he ends up saying like, uh, something like whenever he realized something, but like, uh, whenever he escaped, but it never actually says what he was looking for, per se. I don't think he, he did anyway. leave now. <laughs> Not without Cork. You would have waited for us. I think. Good for him. Wait! <laughs> See Daisy. And they think that Quark is dead. Captain Quark. I, uh, <laughs> well, we are all very glad that you made it back safely. Did you detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. And we would frolic in the fitness course under the wee hours of the morning. This is great. Captain Quark had so many, um, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with uh, kind of a, sort of a, well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero, brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Captain Quark <laughs> may be gone, but his indomitable spirit of heroism lives on in each of you. I know the Q Force will make our fallen captain proud. Carry on, men. The fifth came in the mail for Quark. <laughs> it's chapter four of the Quark Vid comic series. 
he'd want you to have it. Thanks, Al. You know, this could give us a clue about what Nefarious is going to do next. And of course, I forgot to play the third... I think I forgot to play the third one. Third chapter. Or episode, whatever they consider it. Alright. But we'll go ahead and play through it. Episode 3. Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. <laughs> Finally, the ship arrived at its destination. A secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody die pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid. Could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> Well, that was his fetal flaw for letting Quark come to him. Whoa. Fuck. These do get a little hard, a little difficult. Well, okay. If you're trying to get everything and, and you know, all the achievements and skill points and stuff, it, it can be a little difficult. Oh, no. It's like when you're trying to... When you're trying to... When you're... Under stress because of the uh, the way that you have to um, complete this w uh, within a certain time limit. That's when it gets really annoying. Ah. Hold, hold. He actually didn't say hold, hold. <laughs> it, I should say, it didn't, you know. health upgrade. Ugh. Ugh. Or not. I could just complete it. <laughs> Gosh, is a lovely sound. Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class! Uh, I always hated biology. 
That's right, you are that freak with the headgear. Remember how you used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid hulk! I was always big for my age. You were 26! <laughs> Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. And now we can play this one. No, let's not skip it. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, <laughs> your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice... I am Engelbert! Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby! Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt! You have plumped up like a giant green bratwurst! <laughs> it is time for the fitness course! Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis... The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark! <laughs> and now we play the game. No, I don't want to, actually. <laughs> Like dang, wouldn't this wouldn't this have been an awesome? I do kind of wonder if a 2D Ratchet and Clank could work out. I think PlayStation All Stars showed that it possibly could. Wee! I don't know why they're they're kind of quiet right now. Why the some of the talking is at a minimum right now? I mean, I, I don't mean just like you know with, with the whole subtitle thing I was talking about earlier, but like. Because usually right there, he'll say something like, he'll go like, <laughs> Something like that. And if you're smart, you won't do what I just did. Or, or you'll do what I just did, but successfully. What I was trying to do. And down here is, uh... Yeah, this thing. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think, like, if they can make it work, it'd be pretty cool to see a side-scrolling Ratchet and Clank game. They would just need to make it work, you know? Like, I feel like this could be, you know, like, kind of a more simplified Ratchet and Clank. No way. Whoa. Thank you. Those enemies are kind of annoying to deal with. Like Fork's face whenever you're like losing life, like health and stuff. Bless you, Sparkus. Hey, Dave, sneeze. Hmm. Bink, bink, bink. 
So that's normally what those enemies would do. Together. Earlier, but I just I just destroyed him. Or yeah. You don't really get that much health around. Well, at least I'm just right here. It wasn't like a Jack 2 type of, uh, of checkpoint. <laughs> or tools, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction type of uh, checkpoint. Man, I really hope that Jack, that all these games get the PS2, you know, like what the first Sly Cooper got. PS2 re-release on PS5. Generic video game boss music. Or as people say, songs. Which I don't, I don't. I think technically, music without. I mean, I could be wrong on this, but I think music without lyrics are just considered music, not songs. Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh. Seems the script is missing a few pages. <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as, uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! <laughs> That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. Let's hope. Let's hope not. Alright. Back to Metropolis.
Metro Metropolis. It's already started. Doctor Nefarious must be around here somewhere. <laughs> you sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Al should take a look at your circuitry. How do you like my special creation, Clank? I call him Clunk. Your dopey friend seems to be quite fond of him. Say, maybe they'll change your show to Secret Agent Clunk. <laughs> Did you hear that, Lawrence? You put the wit in twit, sir. Yes, I do. Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Today, you will witness the dawning of a new era. For years, I plotted in secret, suffering endless disappointments. But soon, it will all be worthwhile. You will never succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the end of his own life. <laughs> and you will have a front row seat. <laughs> and you don't. And it doesn't take long to actually see that part. Gosh, this part is really hard. Like, you, they t these enemies take away a lot of your health. If you, you know, whenever you're doing this for the first time. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering where the Insomniac Museum is. Okay, not there. This is like a vault or a trophy or something. Or where where is that? Um Yeah. This is where the insomnia of course you have to come back at like three in the morning. Two or three in the morning. Um or you could just set the the clock the PlayStation's clock to uh that time. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, well, if you want to go there before I'm actually unlocking the thing. The Insomniac, the Insomniac Museum here really isn't as good as the one and two. I don't know what it is. Like, it just feels like a cheaper version of the, uh, it could be, it could have been the rush job of this game, but, you know. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> it's still there. Not here right now. Oh well. The quark ship thing. Or blimp. Blimp. Uh, well, you get a you get a skill point for shooting it down. It is time, Lawrence. Time to unveil the true future of this galaxy. The future I have chosen. Oh, sorry. Did you say something, sir? The activation <laughs> device! Now! Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! You are a robot! <laughs> oh dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir, carry on.
Sorry, I was deep in thought there. <laughs> Didn't say everything to say there. Um, let's see. Yeah, look how much health he's taken away. Like, he got 66 point or yeah, 66 points taken away from me. Or health, whatever. Just from one hit. But, um, let's see here. Alright. I do like the, the slight remix of the music. It's intriguing. My obliterator. Can I get a thing first before I see the cutscene? Okay, thank you. Before I see the cutscene. Look, Clank, it's Dr. Nefarious. This is funny. And that butler guy. And they've got Clank. They're uh, holding you prisoner. How about that? <laughs> I guess I should be feeling pretty stupid right now. <laughs> I don't suppose there's any chance he's the evil Clank. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> I've been laughing so hard today, my sides ache. I must admit, Ratchet, you've proven to be a far more worthy adversary than that imbecile Quark. Alas, I have a galaxy to conquer. So, our game must end here. It's a shame you won't live long enough to see the rest of your kind exterminated. <laughs> well, you get the idea. <laughs> now you fight giant clunk. Ooh, ooh, I wonder if I can attack it here. Come on now. Ah, wait. There we go. I don't think I've ever done that before. There's a lot of stuff I haven't done before when I'm uh, playing through this Let's Play. I am sorry, Ratchet. This is all my fault. Knock it off, Clank. Nefarious did this, and he is gonna pay for it. For Metropolis and for what he did to Quark and Skid. You and I are gonna make sure of that. Come on, let's get off this planet before we end up dead. Or worse. Huh. Well, little, little late there, guys. So, just a little bit late. Oh yeah, there's more to this level. I keep forgetting about that. Also keep forgetting I re when I refill my ammo. Just kind of a habit. So when I think about it, I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> By the way, as of this recording, happy 33rd anniversary to Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah, 33 years. That sure makes me feel young, because I was, uh, the, the series was 
just like four months away from being. So, I shall return, folks. And I'm back. So, like I was going to say, um, Sonic the Hedgehog was, was exactly four months away from being three years old whenever I was born. And now it's 33. So that's nice. Guys, want to help me get through this? Fork, 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 fork. I'll let him out there, and he's probably barking at things. He may be barking at a criminal trying to come in and kill me, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> no rush, Sarge. It's not like we're all gonna die or anything. Holy, he, he survived. Urban combat. You know the drill, Sarge. Yeah. The lights are everywhere, and we're getting our butts kicked. <laughs> I'll be right back again, folks. We're back again. Should be good this time for a little while. Um. Yeah, this is actually a multiplayer map in this game. They're coming from the tower. The Ratchet and Clank multiplayer is fine. It's no Halo, but it's fine. Definitely, the focus is definitely on um, the single player. But it was kind of cool at the time to be able to play this online. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, of course, I, I didn't start playing it until about 11 years after the. Uh, like, I knew of Sonic. You probably know the history by now, but I didn't really have a game until like 11 years after the series came out, the franchise started. I knew I knew my friend had the game, and I knew that I knew of Sonic, but I didn't really know much about Sonic until, you know, a little later on. But I was instantly hooked whenever I really started playing it. Starting like 2003 or 2004, I was just hooked on Sonic's <coughs> best franchise of all time, in my opinion. Standing our chance is going to be a full-time job, Asarch. One of these days, we'll pay you back, man. Tower attack. I think you basically just have to kill like the big noids. Is what it is. I didn't read the instructions. I never have. So I'll just complain about not knowing what to do. <laughs> Is there big, big, uh, pteranoids or like the, those things or something, something or other? Like I don't think you have to kill every single one of them. If I could be mistaken. Yeah, I think you just have to kill the big guys. I heard you 
Just have little stories there talking about, you know, just different things. Okay, yeah, yeah. You just had to do the. Uh, oh, you just had to take out the big ones because I, I won the mission before I killed them all, so. I get random itchy. I gotta itch myself. <laughs> I hate when people say that. It's like, I gotta itch myself, so I gotta scratch myself. Gosh, uh, getting my orange pack pack and, uh, uh, but first I gotta itch myself, uh, and then pull out all these crayons out of my orange pack pack. And... <laughs> okay. Okay, well, if you want me to kill you, okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and do that. There you go. Okay, alright, alright. I got you, I got you. I'll kill you. There you go. Missions like this. The noise will be getting desperate now. Be ready for anything. Maybe I have stuff like this just so like I can't take care of all of them just with my weapons. And clear out later on. something to say thanks for saving our butts all over the galaxy everybody chipped in we got you this map matic oh you guys are the best Phoenix. Hmm. I can't remember 
what's next. Like I, I know generally what's next, but I'm trying to remember for sure what's next. Just hours ago, bio obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared, and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. Of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. <laughs> I don't believe this. Everyone's acting like Nefarious has already won. Maybe he has. If we don't find those bio-obliterators soon, we're all going to be robots. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Wait a second. Before the Star Cruiser blew up, didn't Quark say he was trying to find something? Yeah. It's a long shot, but I guess it's worth a try. The cruiser went down on planet Zeldrin. We'll go check out the crash site. Maybe we can find what Quark was looking for. Oh yeah, maybe they do. Maybe this is what, you know, Quark was looking for and, you know... The folks... I think once I get to that planet... I'm going to call it a session here. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll save this for next time, or I'll save this for next time. Um, but until that, until then, folks, I thank you all for watching. As soon as I can pause it. I thank you all for watching, and until next time, like this video if you like it, subscribe for more like this or any other videos on this channel, and once again, thank you for watching. Have a good day or night.